Hello everyone. Welcome to this GRE video on facts, the frequently asked questions. So we get to hear a lot of questions from the students. So we have pulled a set of common questions which would help you to get a clarity on certain things so that you can get started with your preparation. This course is brought to you by Learning Made Easy team, a team of IIM grads in association with our e-learning partner GT Cube. Get to the top. This is the fifth video of GRE diagnostic course. If you're watching this video in GT in the YouTube channel, do check out our full length course available for free at gtcube.com slash store. So let's get started. So first question is GRE computer based test. It is a computer based test. Yes, GRE also has a paper based test, but that's very uncommon. The most common thing that we'll see is that it's a computer based test. So yes, GRE is a computer based test. When should I take the GRE test? You know, we keep hearing this from the students. So which day is better when I say day? Should I take in November, Jan and all? See, the answer is it depends. So if you're looking to get into an August admit or are you looking to get into a Jan admit, the most important thing that you need to understand is this, that GRE score is valid for five years. So earlier you write, better it is, so that if you are not getting a good score, you get a good score, that's good. Anyway, it's valid for five years. So no problem. If you're getting a bad score, if you have a lot of time, you can work and give a re-attempt you can attempt it again right so there's a lot of merit in giving it as early as possible and if you ask me if you're an GRE sorry a university admission process would have multiple rounds when I said multiple rounds they would open applications for two to three times so first round second round third round the earlier you apply the better it is say in round one you have applied and the university has not selected you they'll give you they'll give certain number of students the admission letter the rest of the seats will not be filled yet you are still in the wait list when they get a new set of applicants in round two they look at the new applications and compare with the existing waitlisted applications so whomever they find better they'll fill another set of seats and finally they'll if they have round three they'll so they'll do again new set of applications will come and then they will compare it with the waitlisting application so the earlier you apply the better it is because you will be in the contention till the end the later you apply, it might be difficult for you to get into depending on the you know rest of the applications. So the better it is to apply as early as possible. So most of the schools for August admissions would have their application deadline as November, December. So it's good to take earlier and at least have a couple of months of uh, buffer time. So if you have taken an exam, let's say in July, if your score has not come out well, you can take again in August or something. So earlier you take, the better it is. How long is GRE score valid? So as I said, it's valid for five years. So you can take the exam, or you can apply after two years or three years as well. Can I take the GRE test more than once? The answer is yes. The rule is you cannot take, if I've, let's say I've taken GRE exam today, I cannot take the exam for the next 21 days. I can take after that. So I have to wait for 21 days after giving one attempt and then I can give the second attempt. And in a year, I can only give five times. I can give again the next year, five times. So every year I can give five times, but I cannot give more than five times in a year. On the whole, I can keep giving it forever throughout my life and I can you know write the exam as many times as I want. So they will not stop you as long as I pay them their money they are happy to take the money right so can i select the score i want to send to a school yes if i have given gre exam two times and i got let's say score of 295 and 315 i can indeed select the score that i want to send to that school you have that opportunity and the school will not know the earlier score so you don't need to worry if i scored very poor in my first attempt would that be revealed to the school no if they will only send the score that you want them to send to the school or the code every school has a code so according to that you can send and so they would not know your earlier score they will only the university or the school will only know what you want to show them in the GRE score so how important is GRE score as I've been saying throughout this course videos it is an important parameter but it would not be the ultimate parameter as I said there are other aspects of profile they will look at and it depends on each school on the program so we cannot say they will have 30% weightage 70% weightage a good GRE score is always going to help you to get a good admit or some funding scholarship as well. 
a bad GRE score will hamper your chance of getting into a good school or a good program. A good GRE score will not guarantee an admission into a good school or program. That's the thing that you need to keep in mind. So the better the score I have, the better the chances I have to get into a good school or program or also get a scholarship, but it would not guarantee my admission into a good program. So just because I got 340 or 339 does not mean I would definitely get into every school or school, uh, you know, program I want to, not necessarily. Just because I scored 320, that does not stop me from getting Harvard despite the mean or the median score of batch is 325. If my profile is brilliant, it's extraordinary, I might still get a chance. So can I be like, can I skip the GRE? Can I not really worry about GRE? I'm, I'm getting 290, is that fine? No, no school would give you, like let's say Harvard will not admit into their program if you have a 290 score despite having an extraordinary profile. I don't know, maybe it might happen if you have like something very unique or something that they really liked. So GRE score is not going to be the parameter that would guarantee an admission, but this it has a potential to stop you from getting a good program. So be careful on that. So it's worth taking time, effort, putting the effort and getting a good GRE score. How important is AVA score? It depends on the programs again, but I would say getting a 4.5 is good enough. And most of the schools and programs do not worry whether you got a 6 or 5.5 or 4.5. As long as you get a 4, 4.5, it shows that you can write, you can talk, you can communicate, you can structure your thoughts. That sounds good enough for them and they are not really worried about that. Maybe certain specific programs related to the literature, journalism, maybe they might be a little bit more interested in that, but it depends on the program. Most probably it's not like a score that's going to hamper you as compared to the GRE score. So what are the best resources to use for GRE? So we have made a full length video on this to do check out that. It's part of our diagnostic course where you'll get to know all the, what I'm going to put for this as an answer is do not leave ETS guides. ETS material is the best. So do not avoid this. Do make sure that you spend time on solving these questions. Everything else comes after that, but it's a must do ETS guides and ETS mocks, ETS tests. Do not skip this. These are the must do for you irrespective of how much time you have and what is your current ability and what is your target. So how to know my current ability? So this is a diagnostic course where we have a test, a diagnostic test after this video. Do take that. If you're watching this video in the YouTube channel, do check out our diagnostic course available for free at gtcube.com store where you'll get to take a test and we'll also generate a custom plan for you based on your score. So do check that out. You can also look at uh, other free mocks available like Manhattan Prep. ETS itself has a free two free mocks. You can try one of them to get an estimator of your current ability. We will recommend you to use this if you want to go for an external prep company. How many hours should I prepare to reach my goal from my current state? It again depends. So current state and what's your target goal? These two are going to matter. So basic rule of thumb says to get a score up by five points for 340, you might have to spend 50 to 70 hours. That's an average estimator. Some might take less than that. Some might take more than that. So if you are at 280, coming to 300 is 20 points up. So I might have to spend close to 200 to 300 hours. If you are already at 320, coming to 330 is going to take you more time. It's not that easy. You might have to spend 300 plus. As you get closer to it, the scope for improvement will be difficult. I mean, will be low, less, and will take you a lot more effort and time to improve. Right? If you are 260, that's at zero level. It's much easier to come to 280 than coming to 300, 300 to 320, and 320 to 340. So it all depends on where you are and what's your target score. But basic rule of thumb is this. I would say if you have time around 400 to 500 hours would help you to build your skills, get practice, uh, get a good practice of the GRE level questions, advanced level questions, and also take around 10 mocks, analyze them. And that's a full length practice that you can do. 400 to 500 hours is the, the best amount of time you can put and optimize your performance to the maximum level. If you're already at a good level, you might not have to spend 400 to 500 hours. This is for someone who is at a zero level. I'm saying even if you are at zero right now, putting a 400 to 500 hours, that should take you to a good level for all the things, quant, verbal, AVA and the uh, mock test. 
how so again as i said this is a diagnostic course so do take the diagnostic test in our partners website and i'll also get a custom preparation plan with good details available and that would help you to plan your preparation strategy and work on it and improve your score so what is a good score in gre again uh, this is discussed in our earlier video on gre scoring system in this course gre diagnostic course so do check that out if you want details on how the scoring system works and what is a good score so if you look at this dot depends on the program you are applying and the schools that you are looking at 305 to 310 is a minimum good score according to me 320 is a good really good score if you look over percentiles you would be at the middle of the group if you are around at 300 so 300 to 310 would give put you around 50 to 70 percentile level so this is a minimum target i would ask for every student 305 to 310 and if you are a good student i would strongly recommend you to go for 320 plus if my target is 150 in quant what do i need to get 20 crore out of 40 questions not necessarily please look at this video if you have not watched the gre scoring system to get an understanding it's not that 40 questions turn out to be one point each and i'm going to get 40 points if i get 20 correct that would not translate to 130 plus 20 150 gre is an adaptive exam and the scoring system is slightly different and complicated so please look at this video where we have given good set of tips for you to target work on and target your score so that you can get a good score in the exam i am not good at the quantitative reasoning or the verbal or maybe both can i get my target score absolutely doesn't matter even if you are aiming at 340 this is not something that is impossible for everyone it is possible it's just that how many hours of effort it takes as a different story i might have to put 10000 hours to come to 340 level someone might be able to come to 340 level within 100 hours it's because of what they have been doing till now in their life i if i have been spending lot of time reading material i have a good vocabulary i might not find it difficult to score 170 168 in a verbal If I am not a native speaker, I am not someone who is used to use English in my day-to-day -day life. I might really struggle to really get even one forty. But if I start learning everything, how can I not get one seventy or one sixty-eight? It's not an impossible task. It's just that is it worth the time and energy to put that I am going to reach that level. So, target scores depends on the programs you are looking at, and. everything is humanly possible i would say 400 to 500 hours would definitely get you to a 300 plus level irrespective of where you are even if you are at a 260 that's a zero level you will get 305 310 if you can put this much of this much of time on both sections and practice can i get my target so trust me i have seen students who have done this it might look impossible task when they start or when you start but when you start putting time and work start working hard there is no way that you will not arrive at the goal that you are looking at it's just that how long is going to is it going to take is something that's going to be different for each and every one so take the diagnostic test understand your current ability and see how you should proceed forward to get to the target that you are looking at so thank you for watching this video if you are watching this video on the youtube channel do check out our full length course available for free at gtcube.com/store Also like our partners Facebook page facebook.com/gtq3 you're going to get a lot of updates that would help you in your GRE preparation thank you for watching this video and let's meet in the next video